My name is Jeffrey L. Morse. I'm a detective, a private eye, a real gumshoe. A dick. I've worked on almost 50 cases, all of them solved with precision and expertise. No one has ever come close to matching my skills in this field, but I knew soon that someone would want to rub me out, take me to the cleaners, run a muck upside my face. I just didn't think it would be today. A penny! Ah. Chief, I have a situation. Yeah, I do too. Oh no, they tried to assassinate you too? No, I'm looking at you. No time for small talk, Chief. Someone's out to get me. Who's this time? Ron McDonald? The Shredder? Ha ha, Chief. You know that Ronald's been in hiding since Super Size Me and the Shredder would never get that sloppy. Okay, Morse. What exactly do you want? I need to get all my criminal case files. I, I can't do that. Why not? Are you in on this too, Chief? If that's your real name. No, I mean I physically can't. No such files exist. A smarter detective has solved every case you've done for the last ten years. You've been pretending to be a detective for ten years, shouldn't you know what it is? You're right, Chief. I need to grab my sidekick and look for clues at the scene. Y y you know what, Morse? Do whatever you want. Go. By the way, where's my trusty sidekick, Jeremy? Oh, I'm sorry. You not seen him recently? Yeah, it's been about a week. What is he, faking sick? Calling a bluff, playing hooky? He hasn't been since last Thursday. When you ran him over. You're right, Chief. He's unreliable. I need to find a new one. You, Ricky, we've got an assignment. <sighs> Fucking hell. Where are we going? All right, now look here, Bobby. I went over to this tree to inspect the important document down here, and so the bullet missed my head. So therefore, the bullet must have come from over there. Listen, guy, I'm just an intern at the mailroom. I don't work at the agency, so I gotta get going and do some homework. You're right, Billy. The bullet must have come from over there. Stay in school, chap, and you'll be as brilliant as I. All right, wait, 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 wait. First of all, my name's Dan, okay? Second of all, I didn't say anything about a tree. And another thing is, the bullet could have come from about eight different locations. I'm telling you, our next clue is most likely over by that tree. Hop to it, Matthew. That perp is out there somewhere. Have you listened to a thing I've said? Ah, yes. The old assassin in the tree routine. Seen this a hundred times. All right, Zach, climb on up. Zach! What, me? I'm not, I'm not climbing this tree. Besides, what for? The shot came from here. The weapon is probably up there. Besides, Mother Nature can't conceal everything forever, that crafty whore. You know I'm only doing this for a decent grade and a good review from the chief. I'm in the tree. No murder weapon. Lots of bees, though. Good news, Dean. Uh, I think they're getting angry. I think I found the weapon, which means a perp probably ran somewhere over there. Ooh, you okay, Billy? Always trying to take it easy, eh, Xander? Come on, we're on the trail. Come on, we're on the trail. Jesse, if my calculations are correct, the assassin lives in this building. Where the hell did you get that from? Intuition, lad. That makes no sense. You gotta read between the lines. See, the gun was found by a tree, and the trees are all owned by Greenpeace. And for that reason alone, it's that building right there! That's it. Somehow, you're some mentally challenged cop that's allowed to walk the streets unattended. First, you get me kidnapped. Then, you almost get me killed by bees and a 30-foot drop. And now you're saying Greenpeace is trying to assassinate you? You know what? I don't blame him! No, you can't, Winston. Cause you are one! Is that a Nerf gun? I knew that my strategies would bring me to the real culprit. However, I soon realized that Jacob was not my actual target. It all started to make sense. Who was the only one who would know that I would be at that point during the day? Who is a person that literally hates me? Who is as good with a gun as I? And is possibly the most powerful person at the police station? Alright, Chief, the jig is up. I know who tried to whack me. Give me a basket of howdy-do in the form of a bullet. 
So you figured something out, Morse. Never thought I'd see the day. That's right, Chief. The only person who ever could pull this off is me. What? It all makes sense. I'm the only one who knows where I am all the time. I'm the greatest shot in this office. Hell, I'm the best detective in this office. Don't worry, though, Chief. I know the law. It's better than to give in than to fight these things. Morse. I know, Chief, but I never knew I'd turn myself in either. But here we are. How the hell would you try to kill yourself from far away? I was so close to getting it! Your head was right there in the pine! But then you moved! And I shot the tree! Your head would have been a giant splatter! You are the biggest disappointment to this force since that cop that shot a mirror thinking he was a bad guy. Oh wait! That was you! Mm. If I had the chance, I would have fired you. But that'd be considered cruel and unusual punishment for the rest of the world! Even my backup plan didn't work! The friggin' poison nerf dart! Poison nerf dart? Wait a minute. If you're the perp, then who's the chief? Get out! Nah.